everyone, this is Sinead, and in this video we're discussing an interesting relationship that can exist within ourselves, our minds, which has to do um, with self-honesty and blame. Where, interestingly enough, blame, blame becomes a, a form of protection and defense mechanism that we use to not have to be self-honest. And here the context of self-honesty is where we clearly, specifically, in a moment, introspect and see our responsibility within an experience that came up within ourselves, such as an, a reaction or a thought or, uh, you know, an idea that from there, you know, shifted and moved us into a state and then in that state, you know, started speaking and behaving and acting out um, where what happens oftentimes is there's like this part of us that, you know, wants to just shut down and not face our own self-honesty of how we participated in a thought that created a reaction, that created a tonality and that created a behavior. And so what we'll do in our minds is kind of try and deny and hide and suppress that truth and then instead bring up a front of blame, you know, where we start pointing fingers and saying, no, but they and them said this and that in this way and that way. And oh, do you remember in that memory, in that moment, they did this and this and that and that. And here are all the memories and here's the timeline and here's the point. And so therefore... You know, it is them and they and everyone and everything else that led to me experiencing me the way that I did. All right. So here I'm also speaking it in the tonality that this tendency or this pattern within the mind can come up because it's kind of like what the voice sounds like as well. You know, it's like them, they, everyone, everything else, not me. And then in the state of blame... Um, you try and collect evidence, you know, try and collect facts. Usually, as I've just explained, memory is uh, most often used where <laughs> you're almost like, you know, sitting in front of a person in like this uh, imaginary courtroom wanting to bring forth everything uh, and anything possible as to why they are the guilty one for, you know, why you experienced yourself or reacted or, you know, went into an emotional state and a tonality and said certain things and did certain things. Whew. Okay, everyone. So, firstly, I'd like everyone to have a look at um, whether this particular design exists within you on any level whatsoever because the consequences of this is it really... Um, limits your, or not even limits, it completely removes your ability and capacity to be self-honest. And not only that, but also understand your own mind, your own process in a way of assisting and supporting you in real change. So therefore, you know, with many individuals who've, we, who we've walked with in relation to this particular pattern or design, we suggested is to have a look at a memory in a moment as it happened as is, you know, because what our minds tend to do when we're in a conversation with someone and um, we in that moment react, you know, based on something that they said or did, our minds immediately go to, they made me react, they said this, they did that, All right. Now, what I do when I work with memories that's uh, assisted and supported me to circumvent that tendency to blame is I, in a moment, reflect on a memory and I have a look at, okay, what did the person say and what did they do? And then I immediately write down, okay, what came up inside myself? What were my thoughts? What were my back chats? What was my emotions that triggered in my mind in that moment? Then... I immediately in myself drop the person who was in the memory. I remove them out of the equation because my reactions within me has got to do with me, my programming, my mind. It is my responsibility. They cannot create any thought, any emotional reaction, any experience or decision or choice within me. That's my sole responsibility. So then I sit down and I have a look at understanding myself more. And 
through that and in that process, I take responsibility for me and I learn so much about myself, how my mind works. And sometimes it's the most bizarre things that can come up where a person spoke a word that triggered a memory and an experience and a feeling and then from there I started thinking about it and I just followed my train of thought and my emotional experiences and then I thought and reacted myself into a state. But it had nothing to do with them personally. And sometimes depending on my relationship with a person I'd go to them and say, hey, you know what, I looked at this point, I opened it up for me, this was what triggered and activated inside myself, this is what I learned about myself. But, you know, in, in, in the words and things that you were saying and speaking in this way or that way, yeah, I walked this process, I realized this and that, it then I shared with them. Not in the point of, you know, blame or telling them you mustn't or shouldn't or be this way and that way. It's like a point of sharing and it's fascinating when I've also done that, that the person then in themselves naturally take a breath, reflect, look back and they realize, oh my goodness, you know, yeah, I was in a state you know, I was in an experience. It had also nothing to do with me even personally, you know. In, and then we start communicating and we realize like that whole moment had nothing to do with either one of us personally. You know, we were going through all our personal things. So here, everyone, have a look if this method can assist and support you to um, really get into that point of self-honesty within you. And I mean, self-honesty is not always a nice thing, meaning... And sometimes you're going to see things about yourself within you, uh, within your mind that you don't necessarily like looking at or don't necessarily want to admit or acknowledge. But the fact is it exists in you. And I mean, we can't continue a relationship with ourselves and others where we keep on blaming everything and everyone for who we are, why we are and what we experience. We will never evolve, grow, develop, uh, excel in our living in thought, word, and deed. So therefore, keep a lookout for whenever your thoughts and back chats go, they made me feel. It is them, you know, blaming everything and everyone else to have this red light bulb come up or Christmas tree or whichever signal of, hey, you've got to remember this, can assist and support you. And take a breath, take a step back, walk through the memory, and see if this method um, works for you, where you just slowly walk through the memory, see what was said, but within that, write down your personal reactions that came up. You've got to be self-honest with what was going on within yourself and take personal responsibility to learn something about you in a way that you can understand you more and through that understanding, change. All right, everyone. Thank you very much.